Dancing with Rudolph was number one, an overwhelming um, nervous, not knowing what to expect, oh my God, I'm dancing with a legend experience. I did not dance with him in any of the rehearsals when we went to uh, London for Swan Lake. That was the first time I'd ever danced with him. He was uh, rehearsing with the, my alternate, Marie-Christine Muis, who was five foot seven and he was five foot nine. So on point, she was a little too tall for him. So he w wanted to make sure that everything was right for opening night. I was not slated for opening night. So we get to the dress rehearsal and the director came up to me and said, um, you're going to do the dress rehearsal with Rudolph today. Never having, d not one pirouette, not anything. And I'm like, mm, my knees knocked together. And I asked, uh, I, I went to Rudolph and I said, please, uh, could we just do the one pirouette in the third act, pas de deux, uh, and it's a particular turn where the guy's hand is over your head and you're holding on to two fingers, and that's the means of support, you're turning. And then your leg whips out and goes behind you in an, what's called an arabesque, and he steps back to let your leg pass between you. You can imagine what might be in the way. Um, not wanting to uh, <clears throat> ruin the man's <clears throat> temperament, uh, I asked him if we could do that pirouette before we went out. And that was, we did it fine. We went out, we did the entire third act pas de deux without a stop after never having rehearsed together. And the company stopped the dress rehearsal with applause. And that was affirmation from my peers, from Rudolph, because he was like, <laughs> and, uh, and from myself, my own very um, need to reaffirm that I had chosen the right career.